Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and today we're gonna take a look at a tier three challenge, this corner brace. Now, a lot of times when I create these tutorials, I really take my time and kind of explain the whole thought process and all the step-by-step -step info. I think today I'm gonna do things a little different. I'm just gonna kind of blast through this challenge at a slightly faster rate. I'll still share some tips and tricks along the way, but I'm just gonna go through this one a little bit faster. So to get started, we're gonna go to twotalltoby.com and then we're gonna get started with free practice models. And here we see we've got a repository of over 130 2D to 3D CAD challenges where you are challenged to take a 2D print and turn it into a 3D model and calculate the mass correctly. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we can see that there are some free challenges available for everyone. We've got about 20 free challenges available for everyone. And then if you really like this app, you can choose to upgrade to premium and that will unlock the entire library. Well, one of these free challenges is this one here, 250108. So I'm gonna click here to practice. And here we see that this is a tier three challenge. We're gonna be challenged to use the whole tool, the slot tool and thin walls. That all sounds good to me. And it looks like 154 people have done this already. So let's see if we can become number 155. So I'm gonna scroll down here and click here to begin. And go! What is the mass of this part in xxx.x grams? So we're gonna to try to figure out that mass and we're gonna input that value right here. Now, even though we are running against the clock, I still think it's a good idea to kind of come up with a game plan for how we're gonna model this. So I think I'm gonna start out here on the front plane and create a sketch that represents kind of the, the main bracket shape. Then I'm gonna extrude that shape out to 40 millimeters. Then I'm gonna create a second sketch here representing this kind of brace shape. And then I'm gonna take that and extrude that out to six millimeters. And then I'm gonna create the sketch for these holes and then I'll create the sketch for the slot. And those are gonna be extruded cuts or remove material. So that's just the basic game plan. I know we took about 30 seconds to do that, but I think it's always a good idea to come up with a basic game plan. Let's put the clock down here in the corner. Let's move this drawing over to our second screen and let's get into it here in on shape. I'm going to say create document 25-01-08 corner brace. And I'm going to say create public document. So if you ever want to look this document up, you can just log into Onshape and search that public space. And now I'm going to go front plane, S key, begin a sketch, N key to get normal to. And then I'm going to start by creating this uh, line that comes over. So single click, move my mouse, single click, let go of my mouse, 70, enter. Then I'm going to move my mouse down here, single click, let go of my mouse, 70, enter. Move over this way, single click, 6, enter. Move my mouse up this way move my mouse over this way, move my mouse up this way, single click, let go of my mouse, six, enter. And look at that, nice, fully constrained, fully defined sketch. Now, should we add our fillets at the at the sketch level or should we add them at the feature level? You could do either. Honestly, I prefer to add mine at the feature level. So I'm gonna choose to jump into an extrude here and then I'll just press tab, 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 40, enter. And that preview looks good. I think we're good there. S key, fill it. And then I'm going to put a fillet here on this edge with a radius of three. And I'm going to press um, enter, shift, enter. That will finish the fillet command. And then by holding shift, enter, we start the fillet command again. So this one here is going to be on this edge. And that's going to be nine, enter, enter. And then I'm going to go uh, back to the front plane, S key, begin a sketch, N key, get normal two. And we're going to create a line here that starts here at this edge, comes down to this edge, move up this way. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my mouse over this line. And what that lets me do is it lets me automatically create the parallel relationship. So you see that not parallel, not parallel, parallel. Come up here to this line, this edge here. So you see I'm getting parallel and coincident in my relationships there. So drop that point there, move over to here. And that way those two lines will be parallel, which means I only have to add in one of those 45 degree angle dimensions. So S key dimension, and I'll go from this line to this line here, and that could be 135 or 45. Actually, let's just match the drawing here. So I'll go from this line to this line, make that 45. And then we'll go from this line to this line. That's gonna be a distance of 30. And then it looks like we've got a distance dimension of 54 from this line to this point here, 54. And then we can do S key extrude. That was a shift seven that I did there to get to isometric. So I was looking at this thing dead on. Before I started the extrude, I pressed shift seven. Then I did S key extrude. And then I can type in here six, enter, enter. 
and that gives me that kind of brace running down through there and now we're ready to go to this surface s key begin a sketch n key get normal to s key circle single click move my mouse single click again eight and then for this one i will just um i'll see if i can pick up on this point here look at that vertical we'll get that relationship right off the bat there hit escape now i can pick one pick the other e for equal s key for smart dimension go from here to here at a distance of nine go from here to here at a distance of 24 and go from here to here at a distance of 20. look at that nice black fully constrained sketch s key extrude we're going to use the remove option here and this can go through all that gives us a nice hole running through that model there. And then I can uh, come over here to this face, S key, begin a sketch, N key to get normal to. And this is actually going to be kind of similar dimensions to the previous one. So S key, single click, move my mouse, single click, let go of my mouse. Looks like that is, I guess it's 24 minus 9 if we wanted to, you know, get that, that distance correct. Because the distance here to the center of that slot is going to be 9. And then if you wanted to, you could add in a dimension here that'll just be driven See, it shows up in gray, driven dimension. We could also flip them. You know, if the customer is saying they want this dimension to be driving, you could right mouse button here and say change to driven, and then right mouse button here and say change to driving. And then we get to do S key dimension, go from here to here. That distance is 20. And then for our slot, what we do is we click on this line here, and then we go up to our offset. Underneath offset in this flyout menu, you've got slot. So you choose slot. And then we're going to double click here and we're going to give that a diameter of eight enter and now we can do s uh sorry click left click to finish that slot out and then s key extrude and this is going to be remove and that is going to go through all now you don't have to do this if you are uh doing a speed run but a lot of times what i like to do is right mouse button here on the part and say edit appearance and then just make that kind of match up a little bit closer to what the customer is giving us the customer always likes it when you do this and uh, then what we can do is we can right mouse button on that part again and say assign material. And now this is going to come from the Too Tall Toby custom material library. And that material is going to be 1060 aluminum alloy and hit the green check mark. And then down here, kind of behind the clock, we've got the uh, scales here, which are used for your mass properties. So we click on this part here and we're coming up with a mass of 103.3. So let's type that in one. 43.3 enter oh incorrect incorrect i typed in there 143.3 oh no not 143 103 103.3 oh yeah there we go just typed it in wrong but that's kind of the fun thing about this app is that you do actually have to get the answer correct in order to earn that point on the uh, community scoreboard so 103.3 and my time was six minutes and 20 seconds and so i'm going to say submit and then what's cool is that we get to unlock some of these other metrics, these other analytics down below. So now once we finish that challenge successfully, we can see that our time was six minutes and 20 seconds. The average time is eight minutes and 28 seconds. And the current fastest time here is 55 seconds. Wow, that's pretty darn fast. I would love to see a video of that run. Maybe coming soon, right? Top submissions, video link coming soon. Would love to see that. And so that is your tutorial for that uh, 25-01-08 corner brace. If you guys enjoyed that, be sure to hit the like button on this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you have any questions or any comments down below. And I will look forward to seeing all of you in the next On Shape tutorial.